Welcome to the redstone part video where I show you all the redstone. There's actually only three parts of this. There is the green section, the blue section, and the red section. This is actually all there is. And yeah, let's get on with it. Alright, so the green section is the chest plate. So one second, if I... So if I take a chest plate and... Uh, oops. And um, you see, this is a super fast lock. It is uh, setting air and a rhythm block at the same time, so it's really fast. There we go. And this is test for the nearest player with an inventory of a ID um, Minecraft chest plate, iron chest plate. And it's a count one in the slot 102B, which is your chest plate spot. So if I put this on, it um, activates. See, I have it on and it started to pulse a clock. I cannot do a super fast clock because it will not work properly. It's uh, the super fast clock is going too fast and the command block thinks that it's just uh, doing it only once when actually it's going really fast. It's just the command block can't keep up. So I put a uh, two repeat clock, it's pretty simple. All right, so what this command block is testing for is a slot. If you have a um, slot zero, which is your first bar, right this this one, that has a Minecraft hopper, which I have in my inventory, the sucker, and you have to be selected. So I can put it in my first spot, but I have to select over it to work. All right. So once I have it, then this clock will go off. Make pl um, playing the sound slash play sound, random pop. So when you pick up an item, it says pop, but the uh, Pitch is zero, so it's really low. So it's lower than usual. Uh, then these three red parts are actually fully customizable. All right, so you can see the sand. I used I used sand, so slash fill. So it filled an area. So it executes the nearest player with the. Yeah, it just executes the nearest player because this is the requirement section, and this is just doing what the this part is telling it to do. If that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a stone brick, cobblestone, yes. Monster cobblestone, okay. So from this cobblestone to uh, this cobblestone, that is the area filled. If I was standing on the pink block, that's the area getting filled. So it's executing the nearest player and filling that area, and it's replacing. So this is the slash fill command, it has a new, it's in the snapshot slash um, fill with this core <laughs> and then it's um, replacing sand with the data value of 0 and replacing it with the air data value of 1 so after that goes off then this clock will go on and this will give uh, micro sand which is you know you pick it up I know it doesn't give you all the sand back but in reality when you're using a vacuum vacuum uh, you really don't get everything back. <laughs> so then again, it's the same thing with the carpet. So it's a carpet with a data value of 8, which is a light gray carpet. And it's just giving back the item, but actually it's giving back 1 with the data value of 8. There we go. This one over here is, um, is replacing the cobwebs with the data value of 0 with air and it is giving four string because you don't when you suck with cobweb you usually don't get the whole cobweb back you just get the string so that's why it's giving four string and that's all there is to it a uh, little trivia I don't know I want to know if you guys know where the polter gust polter gust 3000 is from put in the comments if you know where it's from 
And if you have any questions or concerns, definitely put it in the comments also. And um, yeah, I guess like and subscribe and things like that. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.